Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen of my 3E class. Uh, we're going to talk about options to pay today. We've already talked about a couple options to pay. Um, so we are working on the same goal. I am familiar with options, sometimes referred in s offered in stores to help people pay for their purchases. So we're going to look at two more options today um, in options to pay part two, starting with buying on an installment plan. Some stores offer you the option of paying for your purchase over a period of time through payment plans. Usually there will be a deferral charge. Now that's important. There's a deferral charge. So you do have to pay um, for the opportunity to, um, to defer your payments till later, which is what an installment plan does. Uh, or sometimes it's called an administration fee. Uh, to pay for the privilege of not having to pay the whole amount at once. You pay taxes and the deferral fee up front and then you pay the rest in regular payments. Uh, some plans charge interest instead of a deferral fee which is a percentage of the purchase price. Right. So, this first one. Example number one. Liam bought a digital camera for $659.99 and was able to get it on an installment plan. He paid a $55 deferral fee up front and agreed to pay the purchase price in 12 equal monthly installments. Okay, so what's important in here? Here's the price and he paid a $55 deferral fee and 12 equal monthly installments. So there's the important parts of this question. Uh, what are the taxes and the deferral fee that must be paid up front? So we got to pay taxes. Now this is one of the cases where we are only really concerned right now uh, with the total amount of taxes, not the tax and the purchase cost because we don't have to pay the purchase cost right now. So we take uh, the price and we're going to times it by 0 0.13. Not 1.13 because we don't need to pay the whole thing right now, only the taxes. So we want to take $659, whoops, $59. and 99 cents and pay uh, the taxes 13 percent. So that will be uh, 659.99 times 0 .13. $85 and 79. Then there's this 8 here so that's going to round this up to 80 cents. So 85.80. So when it says what are the taxes and deferral fee that must be paid up front, so our payment is going to equal the taxes and the deferral fee. I'm going to call it the DEF fee for short. Um, 85.80 plus the deferral fee was $55. So 85.80 plus $55, $140.80. So Liam will have to pay $140.80 right up front. This is the amount he's paying up front. Then it says what is the monthly payment. So he's going to pay the rest of it, this part of it, um, in 12 equal monthly payments. So we need to take uh, the, to find out the payment, we take the price and since he's making 12 monthly installments, we divide it by the number of installments. So in this case we're going to take 600 
and 59, oops, I'm putting decimals in where they shouldn't be, $659.99. We're going to divide that by, in this case, 12, 12 monthly installments. So $659.99 divided by 12. So that looks like $55 payments. Because this, if we take a look, we want to stop here, but this next one is a 9. So this 99 has to round up to the next dollar. So it's $55 even will be our monthly installments. Okay. So that's the payment. Carissa purchases a new television for $756.59. She's charged 20% interest on the purchase price and pays the total in 24 equal monthly payments. Calculate the interest. So this time she's paying interest rather than a deferral fee and she's going to pay, um, it pay the total in 24 equal monthly payments. So she pays a little bit of this interest all the way along. So the interest is going to be um, interest equals uh, the price times 0 0.2, or it's not always going to be 20%. This is the interest rate. in case you get a question that has a different percent there. So the price times the interest rate is $756.59 times 0 0.2. Pull up my calculator here. $756.59 times 0 0.2 is 15130 now this 8 here is going to round that to a 2 so 15132 151 dollars and 32 cents calculate the price with taxes and interest um well she's going to have to pay the taxes up front so let's calculate them separately So we're going to take $756.59. She doesn't take, she's not going to pay taxes on the interest. We're going to times it by 0 0.13 to get the taxes. And $759.99 uh, times 0.13 equals 98. 80. This 8 here is going to round the 79 up to 80, so 98.80. 98.80 in taxes. So the total is going to be uh, her purchase price, $756.59, uh, plus the interest, 151.32, and then 98.80 for interest, or sorry, for taxes. So 9880 plus 151.32 plus 759.59 is 1,971. So 1,971. So what is the monthly payment? Well, she has to pay. This gets paid up front. The rest of it, um, this $151 plus the purchase price, have to get paid over, how long is she paying it? 24 equal monthly payments. So we are going to say um, price plus interest equals uh, $756.59 
plus the interest rate, 151.32. Add those two things together, 759.59 plus 151.32 equals 910.91. 910.91. And then her payment, we take this amount, the price plus the interest, so 910.91, and split it up into her equal monthly payments. Now she's paying 24. So I take her total amount here and divide by 24. So 37.95. $37.95. Okay, method number four. No interest, no payments for some time. So if you ever hear the phrase, no interest, no payments for a whole year, you may have wondered what it meant. Well, it means you can purchase and use your item right away, but you only have to pay a deferral fee in taxes. The rest you don't have to pay for a whole year. Uh, sounds like a good plan, right? Well, only if you have the money to pay for it after the year is up. Because if you don't have the money to pay for it after the year is up, they're going to charge you a f um, the full interest amount for the whole year. So if you don't pay the full amount off after a year, they charge you interest on the full amount right from the start of the loan. And usually it's a really high interest rate, like up to about 30% interest rate, which is huge. Like, look at the interest up here, what we calculated for a 20% interest rate. 30% would be worse than that. So it's best if you do no payments, no interest for a certain period of time, that you pay it off right at the end of that time um, before they charge you any interest. Uh, or just go for a equal monthly installments. The interest rate is usually less or it might only just be a deferral fee. Some companies for installments don't even charge you anything extra. Uh, so let's have an example here. Lindsay purchased a television for $869.99. She will pay a $45 administration charge and taxes at the time of purchase. If she doesn't pay the remaining amount before the year is up, she will get a bill for um, that shouldn't say a bill for pay. She will get a bill for uh, $1,139.69 if she doesn't pay off the full amount after a year. Uh, that's kind of redundant there. Anyway, uh, what amount does she pay at purchase? So at purchase, she's going to pay taxes and $45. So taxes at the time of purchase equals the price times 0 0.13 so the price is $869.99 times 0 0.13 uh, so 869.99 times 0.13 is $113 and this 8 here rounds this up to 10 so 113.10 And so total is going to be taxes plus, we called it before, the deferral fee, the, the, the def fee, deferral fee. Okay, so our taxes are 113.10 and you pay $45. So let's add those up. 113.10 plus 45. 158.10. So that's what she's going to pay at the time of purchase. How much is left to pay during the first year? Uh, well, this is the taxes, this is the deferral fee, so the only thing left to pay after the first year is $869.99. However, if she doesn't pay that, they're going to charge her eleven thirty nine sixty nine. So eleven thirty nine sixty nine is what they're going to charge. 
and we're going to subtract off what she owes, which was this $869. She only owed the purchase price. She already paid her taxes. So we have to subtract those to find out how much extra she's paying. So 1139.69 minus 869.99. It's $269.70. So $269.70 is the extra they're going to charge her if she is a little bit late paying that, paying this remainder off. How much interest will she have been charged? Uh, well, how much? this is how much interest she will be charged. How much more will she pay if she doesn't pay before the year? $269.70. And sixty-nine dollars and seventy cents. Now, if we want to see what that is as a percent, we need to divide that by the purchase price, eight hundred and sixty-nine ninety-nine. So, divided by eight hundred and sixty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents is thirty-one percent interest, zero point three one, uh, or we call that 31% interest. So she gets paid 31% interest if she doesn't pay it right on time. Okay, that ends this video.